Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest Forged and Tragedy with Mikhail and Kirby, who we almost lost in the last episode. That was not exciting. That bear was certainly trying to get to our pups, but Kirby was willing to sacrifice herself for her family, and she almost died. So she has a lot of healing to do, which means Mikhail's going to have to work to feed her today, take care of her, and get some sleep for the both of them in order to get her fully healed again. It is a miracle that she is not injured. I, like I said in the last episode, I'm, I'm amazed that she's not injured. But that is going to be our focus at the beginning of this episode is getting Kirby some food. Kirby and Mikhail finished off that cow elk quite quickly. He's going to send her back to the pups to rest, but they are out of food and he wasn't completely filled, so he may actually try a hunt on his own. He doesn't usually do this, guys, but Mikhail is worried about Kirby so, so much. I did pass some elk on the way here, so hopefully we'll get a little lucky. Oh. But before we start, we need to roll to see how badly Mikhail's grief is affecting him today. Nice, I rolled a two. Now that's not easy, but anytime we get to go down a level, that's great news. So we're gonna change this from accurate to challenging. Super happy about that, especially since we're attempting a hunt without our mate. Oh my gosh, I love how the snow coats their back right now. Look at that detail. I absolutely adore that. All right, so you are not usually supposed to go for the first elk you see, but we're going to bite this one and see how she's doing. So she's pretty healthy and she whacked us pretty good. She's like, how dare? We're, we're going to try and get him to run. Good. Mikhail has him on the run right now. This one's kind of straggling, so we're gonna check her out. Perfect! Ow! I did find a really, really low one just by chance. Oh, we have to hurry though, our stamina is fleeting right now. Absolutely perfect. Mikhail barely took any damage. He will need to take this spot from Prospect Peak potentially because <laughs> this is his kill. So he might as well take this land too. Now that that's done, we're going to head back to the den and pass out next to Kirby who's hopefully resting her injuries and not straining herself too much. I just... I'm so impressed with her, even though she doesn't always show that affection to her pups. That right there, the fact that she would stand up and fight against a bear to the death is all the affection I'd ever need to see to know she loves her family. She may not be the, the cushy, lovey-dovey snuggle mother, but she would be willing to sacrifice herself for her pups and her mate. And that's, you can't ask for better. Kirby's an amazing mate. I think we knew that from the last litter, but you know, I've always thought, oh, she's all about Mikhail and she doesn't care about her pups. But she was absolutely willing to throw herself in front of that bear to save her family. Ah, so Mikhail came by this tree den. Now, Aspen never got to this one. He only got to the two down in the south near Junction Butte. He never made it to this den. And so Mikhail looks upon it and wonders if his brother would have stayed here. But now he's might have found a spot to take his pups if they need to move again. In fact, we might do that today because Mikhail isn't happy with the dirt den that he has. So he might take his pups here and feel closer to Aspen. We're back at the den with happy puppies who are pretty full, but Mikhail will go ahead and just top them off a little bit. 
He does pride himself on being able to feed his family, Heather. Stay close, please. How are they doing? Let's do a weight check. My goodness, they're all at 10 pounds. That is incredible. We are, however, running out of time to get Mikhail to, uh, I almost said Teo, but Aspen second den. So we need to make sure that he has time to go and mourn before these pups are ready to move to the rendezvous site because we'll have to do it again after that. But Mikhail's kind of excited about the move. He isn't really happy with this den. It was kind of a opportunistic take of a den. So once he sleeps, he's just going to move these pups. After a short wolf into the den, Mikhail's going to check around. He saw quite a few pairs of coyotes on the way back the other day. And so he's just making sure that the coyotes aren't hanging out looking for an opportunity. Fortunately, all seems clear. Kirby is looking much better. She is now up to 75% health. She's going to be just fine. So let's feed these pups and move them to the new den. It's going to be closer to the kill that Mikhail made. So he'll be able to feed Kirby and they'll probably sleep again. I'm aware that Territory is taking a major hit right now, but you have to remember, Kirby and Mikhail never really cared too much for Territory, and so he's not really in practice of making Territory a habit. And so he's kind of letting that go to the wayside, but it's always kind of in the back of his mind like, oh yeah, I need to stay true to my alliance with Charm, I owe her that. So hopefully we'll be able to work on that today after we get the pups moved to the new den. Very exciting. All right, how are we doing on food? Oh my gosh, as excellent as excellent can be. Aw, even Kirby's playing with the pups today. Let's do some howling. Ooh, a tasty morsel. <laughs> Mikhail can never resist a rabbit. All right, well, let's get these pups on the move. And here we go. Come on, pups. We're going to a much, much better den than this one. So on this journey, I've noticed that Bramble actually stays much, much closer to Kirby. He's been behind with her the entire time. I think that's adorable. It looks like Bramble is actually a mother's pup rather than a daddy's pup. I think that's precious that Kirby has a pup that favorites her since she's more distant as a mother. She still has Bramble who loves her so much. Phew, we lost Heather for a moment, but I found her. She howled. She was such a good girl and let me know where she was. But the den is right there, just about 10 feet away. Hopefully the pups can make it, but they are so tired, especially little Heather. Come on, loves. We're right here. Come on. Look, it's your new home. Look at this. I think Mikhail is like super excited. He's like, look. Look, it's a tree. <laughs> Here we go. We have named this Aspen's Memory. Well, after that move, I think Mikhail is going to decide that the pups should sleep in the den. It's raining outside anyway, so they'll be much happier in the dry undergrowth of this old tree stump. Oh good, and all of the pups are absolutely above 90%, thank goodness. So Mikhail smells quite a bit of predator on the wind. It's making him a bit nervous. So he's gonna leave the pups in the den and let them rest while he goes and takes Kirby to have some food. If the pups stay in the den, they'll be safer. Phew. Well, Mikhail knew that he would have work to do. He didn't know it would be this bad. <laughs> So he sent Kirby back to the den. Mikhail has a lot of territory that he needs to take right now. And he's going to try and make his way down to Aspen's other den. Wow, I was just running past and I just 
happened to hear the meat music where you're eating has a particular music and it started to play and I was just really confused but there's a buck mule deer just laying here because you know we're playing Mikhail so Mikhail just gets lucky on everything. <laughs> I have it strengthened a little bit all the way down but we are about to go into Junction Butte territory to try and take some of those hexes. We're gonna cut into the west a bit and then make our way back up. Crevice Lake is scaring me how close they are to the den right now so we're going to have to do some pushback on them tomorrow as well. Mikhail has made it to Aspen's other den. But funny enough, he smells Teo on this den. He thinks that maybe Teo moved from here. And even he wonders what caused Teo to be at this den in particular. Because this was the den that Aspen had before he died. So we're gonna let Mikhail mourn for his brother, but he wonders if the brother that he now knows is still alive will hear his mournful howls. Since we were so close to Teo's den, Mikhail kind of snuck around to watch from the rock from afar. And even though, yes, in this game, we can't see Teo and Sundance and all of his pups, we're just going to use our imagination a bit. And that Mikhail's just kind of watching over them, checking on them, seeing how they're doing. He's not really causing any problems, but I'm sure that Teo might feel a little nervous if he's even there. But Mikhail just can't help himself. He felt so broken when Aspen was lost to him. And so to find Teo still alive, he has such a huge desire to be a part of that family again. That poor rabbit. <laughs> but anyways, he needs to get back to his own family. Mikhail arrives home to find Rava pouting by this tree over here, but he's about to fix it. Hello, pups, and Kirby feeds on arrival. Oh my goodness. Look at these pups. They're all close together and happy. Kirby, the ultimate mom, y'all. It's almost like after that bear attack made her realize how much she really wanted to be a good mom. And we don't even have to feed them. Oh my gosh, potato, potato, you're 12 pounds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're going to do a few howls of celebration. Mikhail is overjoyed to be coming home to a tree den. He feels so close to Aspen. And even though that hurts, there's some joy in it. Perhaps in some ways he feels as though he is living out the last of Aspen's life for him and giving him that opportunity in his, through his spirit. But now it is much, much, very much time for sleep. Even Birch just bailed into the den. All the happy pups are sleeping. Kirby even plopped down next to one of the babies. This is such a happy, just lucky, beautiful family. But because I said they're lucky, I will be wolfing them into the den just in case. I do also want to show y'all the progress I made. So it wasn't a whole lot, but we did strengthen this whole line right here. We were able to visit Aspen's old den as well as Teo's old den and even check on Teo, which was something Mikhail needed in his heart to do. And now we've achieved that part of, uh, of his quirk, his need. So I think today he's going to spend a good few hours with his pups once he's decided it's safe and it's not. He absolutely smells stranger wolves, so he's gonna go take care of it. Woo, all the bad smells. Bear, coyote, stranger wolves. 
This is not good. So Mikhail came back to their old den and remembered the cooler. He is going to leave it here, however. He sees a storm is approaching and he's nervous. He's going to send Kirby back while he continues to check for stranger wolves. There are just too many bad smells on the wind and with a storm approaching, he's a bit scared. But she's going back. She's listening to his worry. He is going to come up here and see if he can't strengthen some crevice lake territory. They are making him nervous, even though what he smells is actually Prospect Peak. I see they were headed this way. So they were headed back home. It's entirely possible they were ran out, but oh wow, no, Prospect Peak has actually made their way. Ooh, that's a bit nerve wracking. They're having quite a fierce battle with Crevice Lake, it seems. We are officially in Crevice Lake territory. Mikhail knows that because of Aspen, Crevice Lake may not like the smell of his blood, his pack scent, and so he needs to be very careful. But this is a promise he made to Charm, and he has to make sure that he keeps that promise because the alliance between the Snagglefang pack and his brother's mate is important to Mikhail. I was just thinking about how I'm going to have to get Mikhail food somehow so he can get his pups up to 90% and there's just an elk herd right there. Also deer, which is insane. Mikhail's luck never fails to just impress me every time. Oh my gosh, first elk that I picked out is the perfect one! <laughs> Amazing, absolutely insane. How is that even possible right now? And he took her down just like that. But he is in Crevice Lake territory, so he needs to hurry up because I'm sure they heard that hunt happen. And now that Mikhail is howling, they'll definitely know he's here. No, it can't be Potato! No, it can't be Potato! No, Potato, you are literally crowd favorite right now. This is not okay. Okay. Mikhail took that spot. I'm gonna howl a few more times. I'm racing him home to get to Potato. Potato! Daddy's coming! Where are you? Oh my gosh. Heather, honey, why are you out by yourself? Come here, love. Children! Potato! Potato! You have to eat potato! Potato! No, potato. Oh, potato. I'm gonna come feed just you. Oh, dear. I love all these babies, but potato has for sure given me the most laughs and has the biggest personality of this entire litter. I do not want to see anything happen to this pup. I will literally die if anything happens to this pup. All right. The pups are exhausted. They are all... No, they're not. Redwood. Red... Never mind. Come back out, Redwood. You still need to eat. You still need to eat. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Redwood, you still need to eat. <laughs> Poor Redwood is exhausted. Eat food. Eat food. You too, Potato. Oh, no. This is not good timing, no. Oh, wow. Look at Kirby go after him. That was amazing. Okay. We need to sleep. We can't actually spend any time with Potato and help him heal unless we have slept. So we have to get in there and get some sleep. The good news is Potato's health is going down rather slowly, but we need to make sure we're spending every second we can with him to get him recovered, giving him more options of meat. There are a couple things we can do, but as you all know, there's always a chance that a pup just will not 
recover. If we do everything right though, it can still happen and Potato should be fine. He is our biggest pup. I do see bigger pups getting sick for some reason. Maybe they grow too fast or something. But Mikhail's going to make sure he takes care of his beast of a son, Potato. <laughs> Alright y'all, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And make sure to ring that bell so you're notified of when I post Wolf Quest or any other series on the channel. Don't forget to join Discord so we can talk about Wolf Quest all the time with other community members that love this game so very much. And follow me on Twitch. I love you guys! Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week for more of Forged and Tragedy. Bye!